This is the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns. But he's a zero overall. I have three matches to upgrade Roman Reigns from a zero overall all the way up to max 100 overall. For every elimination that Roman gets in these three matches, we'll earn him 100 upgrade points, where every match that he wins will earn him an additional 300 points. And at the end of the video, Roman goes one-on-one -on -one with Cody Rhodes to regain his WWE Championship. And we start this video by lowering every single Roman Reigns stat to the lowest it can go in this game, a 30 overall. And that makes the Tribal Chief a 30 overall. And for the first time in a long time, not only is Roman Reigns walking to the ring without a championship, but he's also joining a Royal Rumble match. There's been no reason as of late for Roman Reigns to enter a Royal Rumble. He's been pretty much the only champion in WWE until this past year when the World Heavyweight Championship was introduced. He wasn't the WWE Champion for a little bit. He was the Universal Champion for four years straight, but regardless, no reason to join a Rumble. So Roman Reigns up against Baron Corbin to start off this Rumble match, and we actually busted him open already as the number three entrant's gonna be joining us soon. A 30 overall entrant, Roman Reigns making Baron Corbin bleed. Now Bad Bunny's joining the match. He's trying to eliminate us, and we drop the top rope, and there goes Corbin. That's one way to eliminate someone. So it's Tribal Chief. It's Roman Reigns, and it's 8-Town down. Austin Theory joining the Rumble at the number 4 entrance spot. And can we eliminate Bad Bunny, the Tribal Chief? I just choked that. George the Animal Steel in at the number 5 spot. Bad Bunny over the top rope again, and this time we eliminate him. And now can we get rid of George the Animal Steel? Entrant number 6 about to be on his way. Now that's for... Oh, it's the game! Triple H, Roman Reigns, and the game have had their rivalry in the past, so... That is not going to be easy. The highest overall superstar we've faced so far, too. But Roman Reigns, this match is on normal difficulty. So this is our only chance on a lower difficulty. And I did get to see Roman Reigns enter at WrestleMania Live. Both nights, I got the WrestleMania 40 shirt right here. We got to represent for the Tribal Chief in this video. And Biggie's in at the number seven spot. Dawson Theory over. Oh, we got rid of him just like that. Austin Theory eliminated. Didn't even have to try to like hit him over the top rope. We just threw him over and he was gone. And now for Big E! Back to back eliminations for the Tribal Chief. Can we do it again to George the Animal Steel. Big boot by Roman. See you later. And the Tribal Chief is taking over here in the Rumble match. As Triple H trying to make us tap out, which isn't going to do anything here in a Rumble. So that's pretty pointless. And now Johnny Gargano in at eight. Only two men left to enter here. Who is number nine in this Rumble match? The Boogeyman is joining. So I'm not too mad about that. Not one of the higher overalls in the game. Gargano, though, trying to Superman punch him. Watch out from behind, Roman. Good counter. And now Superman punch. That'll get us a finisher here in this Royal Rumble match. Barker Gargano has got to be stunned. Maybe we could talk. No way. No, 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 no. No, good counter, Roman. We almost got eliminated on that counter by Gargano. And the last man to join the Royal Rumble will be at number 10, Booker T. There goes Gargano. We eliminated him that time. And now... Booker T, Boogeyman, and the game are all that stands between us and winning this Rumble match. And we use our one finisher in this match to spear a fresh Booker T that just joined the matchup. And can we toss him over? Roman, trying to eliminate Booker T. No stamina, though. Oh, but we eliminate him anyway with the right hand. We can clean sweep this Rumble. Boogeyman might try to eliminate Triple H. I am fine with that. We want those 300 upgrade points. Eliminated Boogeyman. The game eliminated. And it's one-on-one -on -one Roman Reigns versus the Boogeyman. We cannot lose this, Roman. We cannot lose this, Roman. Roman, no, no way. We are not losing to the Boogeyman. We are not losing to the Boogeyman. Thank you for the counter. Get rid of him. Get rid of him, Roman. Roman. Big boot eliminated. Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, wins the rumble from the number one spot with eight eliminations. And Roman Reigns is about to get some serious upgrades. The tribal chief saw massive upgrades after that rumble with 1,100 points to spend. 1,080 points went to upgrading every single stat to 75. And the extra 20 points went towards special and finisher to 85. And after just one insane rumble match, Roman Reigns is up to a 90 overall. But now the difficulty is up to hard. And for this gauntlet match, I've filled it with three of Roman Reigns' biggest rivals. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, is on a mission here in the gauntlet match. But this gauntlet match starts off with maybe our toughest opponent first, John Cena. If the gauntlet match is going to go as good as the Rumble did, we might not even need another match. 
because we're up to a 90 overall already. If we can win this match and get all those upgrade points, we might max out Roman Reigns in two matches. That is getting ahead of myself a little bit, but that would be crazy because that's the first time in WWE 2K24 we would be doing that. We have yet to max out a superstar in just two matches. I don't even think we've maxed out a superstar in three matches. Cena has started pretty hot, though. We haven't done much to him, and he's closing in on a signature. Got to be careful here. He might go for the five knuckle shuffle. He's going to go for the pin, though. And that is just way too early on a 90 overall Roman Reigns. And that kick out actually let us get a signature. So if we can counter this, give me one second. Come on, Roman. You know what's coming. Superman punch and down goes Cena. But he's right back up. And he's right back down the spear. Good night, Cena. One. Two kicked out. The tribal chief is feeling good. Roman is feeling good. Superplex from the top rope. Is that going to be enough to put Cena away? We're going to go to the top rope. We're going to fly with Roman Reigns. How is Cena just constantly getting up so quick? Okay, never mind. We're not going to fly. And now he's going for a pin. Cena, you must be crazy. That did not do much damage to the tribal chief. Absolutely not. Okay, I know my game plan here. We are about to get a second finisher. We have a signature as well. What I want to do right now is hit the Superman punch on Cena. Put him away. We have three finishers. Come on. Three on Cena. And now whoever comes out next is getting a super finisher. And it will be KO Kevin Owens who we're facing next. We took way too much damage from Cena. Way too much damage. Way more than I would have liked. But let's see. As a super finisher, a one-shot pin. Let's see. There's the spear. Please tell me that was a super finisher. Yes, it was. Super finisher was hit. Is it an automatic three? It's an automatic three. And there goes KO. Send him to the back with Cena. Which means it is now Rollins, Reigns, Shield versus Shield. And I find it funny that Rollins walks past Cena to get to the ring. And then Kevin Owens right after. This is what a lot of people want to see one-on-one, -on -one, myself included. Maybe at SummerSlam or at a WrestleMania, but you're going to see it first in the wrestling gauntlet. I don't think I can even take one stomp from Rollins. Maybe one if we get lucky, but I don't know if I could take two. So we want to get that super finisher. and to make sure I get one finisher first before using my signature. That way, we get two right off the bat. Then it's just working towards that third one. And Roman, what do we got here? We got a body slam. And then where are we going? Oh, we don't do anything off the corner? I thought for sure we'd do something. How about going up top, Reigns? How about going up top and dropping the elbow on Rollins? And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. I have one finisher. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not the pedigree. Oh, how did I not counter that? Are we going to lose? Oh, this is not easy, but we kick out. We cannot take the stomp. Get up. Get up. We cannot take the stomp. No, 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 no. We cannot take the stomp. Roman. No. There was no counter. We got stomped. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! We lost the gauntlet match. What'd I say about take a stomp? So I did have 200 points to spend on Reigns, so I just started off by maxing out as many stats as I can. And Reigns is up to a 98 overall. And Roman will be facing his own members of his family in the bloodline. And that even includes the final boss, The Rock. So we start with Solo, and yes, this is an elimination handicap match. So my game plan is going to be, as always in these one-on-three handicap matches, get the first guy at least counted out. That way, we just have to focus on two opponents instead of three. So at the moment, we're just trying to hit any move we possibly can. Let's keep Solo down to about the count of six. And then I'm picking him up for a move. We're doing the same exact move we just did. If we can plant him with this, I don't think he'll make it back in the ring. He's down. Count should be at seven. Now, Roman, we are running back to the ring. He's got to run down the ramp and get up in two seconds. I don't think Solo will be able to do it. He's finally up at nine. Charles Robinson, don't you dare not count this to ten. Do not let him back in this ring. There's no way. Fine. He almost got back in. That's insane how that almost happened. But we get the elimination. And now welcome Jimmy Uso to the match. That was the longest second ever. And now for that, Jimmy. You get to get up to a... Superman punch. And now, get up, Jimmy. It's time to put you down here in the bloodline. The spear to Jimmy Uso. We got to knock the rock off the apron. We get that done. We go for the pin. Jimmy Uso. One, two, three. He kicked out. Now what that means, though, the rock cannot 
jump in and interfere in this match now until Jimmy Uso tags him. So I should be able to go for a free pin here. No interference from The Rock. On the Samoan drop. Two, three. Now bring in The Rock. One on one. Roman Reigns. That wasn't fair. I wasn't ready to get up yet. But Roman Reigns versus The Rock. Watching both The Rock and Roman Reigns at WrestleMania Live was an awesome experience because I don't know how many more matches The Rock's going to have in his WWE career and even Roman Reigns at this point after his title reign. So what do you really expect? And I was trying to go for a spear on The Rock and there it is. And let's see. Can we put him away soon? I'm trying to get a signature move as well. That'll get us another Superman punch and another spear to put The Rock away. Now Roman is ready to hit the spear. Onto his cousin, spear to the rock, and down he goes. Will it be the one, two, three? Roman Reigns just destroyed his bloodline family, and Roman Reigns is a 100 overall. Roman Reigns, maybe one match away from regaining his WWE Undisputed Universal Championship, but can he beat the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes? Reigns. Rhodes, three, here we go. And Roman Reigns has never beaten Cody Rhodes without interference. Solo Sokoa interfered WrestleMania 39. So he did not get a clean victory. In this video, we will need a clean victory over the American Nightmare. But I am not liking Cody Rhodes' chances when we are a 100 overall. I don't care if Cody's on Legend or not. This is going to be tough for him to retain. And I don't normally play on, like, ramp camera for one-on-one -on -one matches. Usually only for gauntlet matches and Royal Rumbles where it shows... New superstars joining the match, but we're here at WrestleMania 31 with the beautiful stage in the background, so why not check out the ramp camera a little bit? Maybe I'll wind up switching back, but for now, okay, Cody Rhodes, he's not playing around. Finally became WWE Champion, he doesn't want to lose that. Roman Superman punch, just like that. Cody Rhodes is down, and we're setting him up for the spear, and it was not countered. It connects, and down goes Rhodes for the one Two. No way, I was gonna say, if we got Cody right there, that'd be insane. All the stats are maxed out, it's tough. Cody can't really do much, he landed a couple offensive blows, but look at Cody Rhodes in the bottom right already. His torso to orange, his head to yellow. And now he's getting some moves in here, but we haven't taken pretty much any damage as of yet. He's going for a disaster kick, and there's a quick counter. And now Roman, we're gonna get crazy here. We're gonna go top rope. We're unfazed. Look at Cody. He doesn't know what to do. And what just happened? Could be a mistake, though, because Cody now has a finisher. But we countered it. Oh, he actually didn't go for the finisher. He went for something, though. I definitely thought we'd be able to steal either a signature or finisher, but he did not go for it. Now he goes for crossroads. How did he slip through that? He hit me with it. Oh, my. We could actually lose. Forget that. I'm using resiliency. Okay, we got to finish this match. We got to finish this match right now. Roman, get up. We cannot play around. We cannot play around. What a Cody Cutter! He just hit a Cody Cutter! We might lose! Unbelievable! We lost! Oh my goodness! I choked horribly! That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.